we checked online to see which nationalities travel to to Hawaii the most. Number one is the east and west coast of America. Number two, the Japanese. Number three, North America, the Canadians. And number four, believe it or not, is Australia. A lot of Australians have been visiting Hawaii for a long time and almost 50% or 46% are repeat visitors. They just love Hawaii. Australia has an abundance of sunshine, beautiful beaches and good surf. So there must be a really good reason for Aussies to travel to Hawaii. <laughs> Getting up here isn't too bad. Only three hours difference. And we gain one day from travelling across the international date line. All accommodation at Waikiki Beach area is expensive. We book for seven nights at the Hilton Waikiki Beach Hotel, which is four stars, but it still costs us an arm and a leg. Okay, aloha, just for two, yeah. We booked accommodation with breakfast included. It saves you money because we don't have to have lunch if we have breakfast in Cuba. A huge breakfast. Uh, it's massive. Called, yeah, massive. Mac attack. It's called Mac attack. Mm, very nice. Almost fantastic. The weather is warm all year round, but the winter months do get a bit of rain. It's not that bad. For some reason, the rain can clear up as fast as it came. With northeast winds, we should get the lighter winds and lighter showers with more typical trade wind weather. There are 136 Hawaiian islands. Only seven are inhabited. The Oahu is the most popular. The biggest city and the capital is located on it. Honolulu occupies a small area. It extends 16 kilometers along the shore of Oahu Island and six kilometers inland across the plain. More than 350,000 people live in it. We decided to get the bus because uh, driving in Hawaii's America, you're on the left hand side instead of the right, and parking is really expensive and it's really busy on the roads here. And so, the public transport's pretty good here, so that's what we did. We are at Alamoana, the largest shopping, open air shopping center in the world. Lots of people love to shop in Hawaii, and El Moana is their number one stop for the shopaholics. There are more than 350 shops and restaurants including multiple department stores, first class boutiques and over 160 dining options. This shopping centre is really huge. We're getting we will, shakes. We will, yeah, we will, we will try coffee next time. Yeah. We'll have coffee, it's very famous. Mm. Mm. And it's mocha. 
Yeah. So it's a famous Hanawu coffee house. We've been recommended to drop into the shop and try a, co a, a Kona coffee. Kona okay. coffee is one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. No, but bloody cool. It's a bit cold, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit cold, eh? Mm -hmm. Hawaiian Kona, or Hawaiian Frost. It's, it's uh, yeah, really nice. You can taste the coconut in. Hawaii, Hawaii are the best in Hawaii. The Australian dollars are only worth about 70 cents, if that, compared to the American dollar. So every time we pay something in America, we're paying more. Pardon? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, I was going to take you this picture. No, no, that's okay. We're just doing a filming. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hawaiian Kona. Okay. So every time we buy something here, it's a little bit more expensive. Then you've got to add tax on when you buy it. They have the GST added on when you purchase something. So things are a little bit more expensive in the US. Him, this artwork is made by a famous Japanese artist, Kusama Alafsha. She is one of the most successful women artists in the world. This artwork belongs to Jasper Bon. He is the founder of the Pau Wow Art Street Festival in Hawaii. The Pau Wow Festival started in 2009. Famous and some not so famous artists come to Hawaii to participate and leave their imprint on Honolulu City. Oh, we're lining up for the pink bus or pink wine bus. I think it's pretty popular. <laughs> Purchase two tickets to the Missouri. To see the whole of Pearl Harbor, you need five or six hours. We got it, we slept in a bit, so we're going to see the Missouri and the Arizona. To see the Arizona Memorial, you need to book online and to book early. The only way to get to the memorial is by boat. Japan attacked US military base Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. The battleship Arizona was completely destroyed and sank. The United States was a neutral country at the time. The attack led to a formal entry into World War II the next day. The Arizona Memorial is the resting place for 1,102 sailors and marines. There were 335 survivors of the battleship Arizona. As of the 31st of January 2023, there are two living survivors and both are 101 years old. On the 2nd of September 1945, the surrender of Japan ceremony was held here. The battleship Missouri was launched in January of 1944. 
The ship had a good service life and retired in 1992. Today the Missouri stays docked in Pearl Harbor where there is no crew at the ready nor any ammo or fuel on board. The Missouri ship is huge. You don't know how big it is until you're standing on the deck. Currently the Arizona is even bigger but you can't see it properly because it sank. On the 2nd of September 1945, on the decks of the Missouri, the Second World War was officially over. The document of Japan surrendering was signed right where this plaque is. There are many copies of the sculpture, it's computer generated. There is a famous photograph, it's called the Kiss, and it was made on the Times Museum, on the Times Square, when the Second World War finished. We had some time left before Pearl Harbor closed its gates for the day. We decided to see the submarine, the Bowfin. The Bowfin submarine was built within a year. It was launched exactly one year after the Pearl Harbor attack. It is considered the best preserved and most visited submarine that served in World War II. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to see the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum, but that would be good to see as well. We're here to try the famous Portuguese donuts. If you like your donuts, you certainly need to go to Leonard's Bakery. They make the best donuts in Hawaii. This business started in 1952 and has been popular since then. Ready? Set. Oh, oh, oh. the chocolate ones, they're the custard ones, these are the original ones. Here we go, folks. Here we go. The big taste test. Mmm. Very sweet. Good. Oh. Delicious. Another place that is very popular is the Cheesecake Factory. It's a chain of restaurants across America. They are big on menu, but unfortunately they are considered the unhealthiest restaurants in America. The meals might be unhealthy, but gee, we enjoyed our meal. They were fantastic. That looks like some cheesecake. Oh, it's delicious. I don't need it. It's a new one. Yeah. Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii. And I've got a pina colada. And a cheesecake. The vibe in Waikiki is mesmerizing, especially at night. It comes alive.
There is the Diamond Hill Walk. It looks daunting to me, but anyway, we're going to give it a crack. For the Diamond Head track, you have to book online. The track is approximately 2.6 kilometers round trip. It's not that hard. We saw different ages doing it. It can get hot though. Diamond Head is the most prominent and important landmark in Hawaii. And by the way, it became, it became a national natural landmark officially in 1968. That's what it says. Beautiful views. This is a famous staircase. We're not far from the top. Pulse is around about 280. Ready to collapse at any moment. But I think I can make it. If we've got footage of a medical helicopter later in the um, video, you'll know things didn't go well for me. But I'm still going. <laughs> 300,000 years ago, there was an eruption here, but it's been dormant for a long time since. And now Diamond Head is just a tourist destination, very popular one at that. They certainly are. If you look over here, look, there, that is Waikiki Beach, Honolulu. Come on, Victoria, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We travelled by Uber to the Kalua Ranch because we missed our bus from our hotel. It took us about an hour. We noticed rainbows on vehicle rego plates and Hawaii is called the Rainbow State. Kalua Ranch is a famous tourist destination. Mainly because Jurassic Park was filmed on this location but many other movies have been made here. We've arrived at the ranch and we're going to have an ATV tour. I'm not really good at riding horses so we're doing the ATV. The ranch is huge. It's located on 4,000 acres of land. This isn't the biggest ranch in Hawaii. The biggest ranch is located on the Big Island of Hawaii. Kalua Ranch is a working cattle ranch established in 1850. The ranch is free to visit, but you won't see much unless you take one of the many tours.
Well, we'll go to the toilet and wash our faces. No. We decided to have lunch in the ranch cafe. Classic burger and have the also the locomo. The locomo. Anything else? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Want some sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's um, it's a locomoco. It's a Hawaiian food. Uh, meat, meat, eggs, uh, gravy, and um, rice. Rice, yes. Yeah. And it's cholesterol heavy. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not healthy, but. We don't eat such things every day and we would love to try it. Very, very oh, beautiful, it's very yummy. Oh, yummy! Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I've got the classic Kalua, Kalua Ranch Burger, the classic burger. Just a, a beef burger, cheese, a lettuce, and some fries. Crinkle chip fry for the burger. Mm. Bought some souvenirs just to remember the ranch. We've got a bottle opener, we've got a key ring. I've got a couple of key rings actually. And this one's a personalised one. And I love collecting pens from places. And these are my souvenirs to remember the ranch. So we've got already some souvenirs from Hawaii. If you think about Hawaii, you think about surfing. If you're thinking about surfing in Hawaii, you're thinking about the North Shore. If you think about surfing the North Shore, the first thing that pops up in your mind is the Banzai Pipeline. A sign of all the previous Pipeline Master Champions, going all the way back to 1971. Banzai Pipeline is a surf reef break recognised to be one of the most difficult and dangerous surfing spots on the planet. The competition has been held since 1971. The hits! Woohoo! Michael Rodriguez, your last wave. A 217, that one of your top two. Michael, you're in second. With a 45 and a 46, beating a 5125. White, a 5.25 to go to third. Baron Nabia, in black. Baron, you are in third. This, this wave is really dangerous, I mean, as you can see, there's the rocks pointing out there, but it breaks in really shallow waters. Um, some of the competitors even wear uh, helmets because it's that dangerous.
There are many hens, chicken, and roosters here, not only in Kaliba, but in Honolulu as well. We look forward to trying food from the food truck on the North Shore because they are so recommended. Unfortunately, the truck we chose was a big disappointment. Food was really bad and it was way overpriced. I can't, I can't unfortunately eat the food, but... The worst food I've ever had. <laughs> Victoria could go on and on, but the truth is the food was pretty bad. <laughs> Past that, how we saw me coming through. So, you know, the big sign that the sign coming in, like, on that, it's on that side, but the, yeah, the hubby's phone, it's got the sign coming in, yeah. That's what we're going to take a picture of. Thanks, mate. These are very special signs. They were created by a Californian artist in 1996 to attract attention to the North Shore. And here we go, one of them. Elvis Presley loved Hawaii. He travelled to Hawaii many times to make movies, record music and for vacation. In 1973, Elvis Presley did the first satellite TV concert from this stadium, Aloha Hawaii, the king. This is the most famous cocktail in Hawaii, Mai Tai, associated with beach, culture and warm weather. Our trip to Hawaii is coming to an end. Here's some advice from us. Book a longer trip, book activities in advance, swim more in the ocean and even surf if you can.